Have you ever paused to ponder how airlines determine the price of their seats? It's a complex web of decisions and strategies that, when unraveled, can give us a unique insight into the business model of the airlines. Today, we're diving into that intricate process. The first step in this pricing strategy is understanding the concept of demand. Airlines know that the demand for their flights can vary greatly depending on many factors. Time of day, day of the week, season of the year, and proximity to holidays can all influence how many people want to fly. To maximize profits, airlines adjust their prices according to these fluctuations in demand. Now, consider the idea of supply. Airlines have a finite number of seats on each plane. Once a seat gets sold, it's gone. There's no restocking. This scarcity drives up prices, particularly as flights fill up and fewer seats remain. Next, airlines look at operating costs. Fuel, maintenance, staff salaries, airport fees, these all factor into the price of a seat. Airlines need to cover these costs and still turn a profit so they bake these expenses into the price of each ticket. But how do airlines know what passengers are willing to pay? This is where market research and segmentation come in. Airlines study their customers' behaviors, preferences, and price sensitivities to create different pricing tiers. These tiers, or fare classes, allow airlines to offer a range of prices for essentially the same product, a seat on a plane. Lastly, competition plays a significant role in airline pricing. If one airline drops its prices, others often follow to stay competitive. This constant monitoring and adjusting is part of a strategy known as dynamic pricing. So to summarize, airlines determine the price of their seats through a complex process that involves understanding demand, managing supply, covering operating costs, segmenting their market, and staying competitive. This strategy allows airlines to maximize their profits while offering a range of prices to their customers. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires constant adjustment and fine-tuning. But at the end of the day, it's this intricate process that keeps the airlines in business and the world connected. In our journey today, we've unraveled the complexity of airline pricing, shedding light on the intricate business model of airlines. And while the price of a seat may seem like a simple number, we now know it's the result of a finely tuned strategy designed to keep the planes in the sky and the world on the move.